Hi again, everybody, and welcome back for week two of Accessible Learning with Technology. Uh, just a quick overview of what you can expect uh, from this week and from our live class session. If you take a look at the modules area here in Canvas, uh, you'll see that I have a few links already populated for you. The overview gives you, uh, well, an overview of the topics we're going to be covering. This week, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the guidelines and regulations that actually spell out what we should be doing in terms of meeting the accessibility needs of our learners. So we're going to take a look at, first at the WCAG, or, or Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, developed by the World Wide Web Consortium. And I uh, have uh, some resources, some varied resources here for you on that, uh, some videos that give you some background on what the guidelines are and how to meet them, and some shorter and longer reads. And of course, if you want to take a little bit of a deeper dive, I found a link here to a free course that the W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium, is offering on uh, how to meet WCAG guidelines. And uh, as far as I could tell, that course is going to be free and it's going to be available via the edX platform until at least August of 2024. Might be worth your while to, uh, to check that out, but not required. After we look at those guidelines, which are the global standard, uh, the baseline guidelines for making sure that our use of technology meets accessibility needs, we're going to take a look at the actual regulations, the, uh, the legal regulations here in Canada uh, that exist regarding uh, accessibility and uh, the digital accessibility aspects of them and how those uh, impact us as teachers and as students. So we're going to take a look at um, Canada's new Accessible Canada legislation, which governs the federal government uh, and federal government agencies. We are also going to take a look at the provinces that have already implemented uh, accessibility laws, uh, one of the first being the AODA legislation in the province of Ontario, but there are others that have implemented laws already and are at uh, different stages of enforcing those. So again, some resources related to that. Uh, in class, uh, or before class, what, uh, one of the things that I'd like you to do is to share some uh, resources that you can find related to digital accessibility guidelines and regulations. So you have your choice. You can share one or more uh, resources related to the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines standards. Uh, we're looking for resources here that either explain those standards or that might help someone learn how to implement those standards. Uh, or maybe one of the resor uh, a resource related to one or more of the existing Canadian Accessibility Acts or uh, one or more of the standards outlined within the uh, existing Canadian Accessibility Act. I've set up a Google Sheet here for us. So if I open that up, it's going to be blank when I show you it in this video. Uh, but uh, you can just add your name to it here, the title of the resource, a link to the resource, and a very brief summary. Just tell us what the, that resource is. And uh, try and share that before class because we're going to take a look at that in class during week two. So again, I have a copy of my slide deck here. I've tried not to overwhelm you with too many slides and, and uh, with uh, lecturing too much in class. And we're going to take a look in one of our breakout activities on the, uh, the POR standards the, uh, for the uh, W3C's Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And we're also going to then take a look at sharing our accessibility guidelines and regulations resources that you found and a chance to discuss them uh, with your group and uh, then have a whole group discussion about some of those resources. And uh, as always, I have a full list of references of the readings and resources and that, that I have put into the course for you. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at for week two. Looking forward to seeing you in class.